Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to every single one of you that continuously support my channel, guys. Thank you so very much. And to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Your support is truly appreciated. Today, I am using the Model Ones Poly Gel Kit. I did a previous video on the unboxing of that kit. And so I've decided to go ahead and give it a try. Right off the bat, let's talk about the pros. First of all, this poly gel is so easy to mold. The consistency is really, really good. It's not too drippy. It's not too thick. And I really love that I was able to just kind of shape my nail as close to what I want it to look like, clean it off and file it. Filing it was super easy. Easy. Sometimes with poly gels, even if you wipe it off, when you initially start filing, it can feel a little bit cakey and gunky. But this wiped off really nice and clean, and it was super easy to file using the electrical file. And also, when I used the handheld file that came with the kit, oh my goodness, it was like butter. It just did everything it needed to do. There was no resistance, there was no discomfort. I didn't have to apply like an over excess amount of pressure like some of the other files that I have where I have to really put the elbow grease in there to get that file to do what it's supposed to do. This was a really, really good one, by the way. And I really hope I can find, I'm actually gonna see if they make their own files to sell separately because this was a really, really good one. The nails dry great under the UV. I did double time because I wasn't too certain if the nail was gonna dry good the first time, but after doing it for the first minute, it was fine. But I, I went back and I did it again for another minute, so two minutes in total. I used my smaller lamp because it was just more convenient. Guys, I had to really twist, <laughs> I had to twist up myself to get this video. I'm so, I'm sitting in the most awkward position right now doing this video for you guys. <laughs> But, you know, I made it happen. Um, so now I'm going on to my other hand. And yes, I normally do uh, rough my nail a bit, take off any of the extra shine and stuff. Normally, alcohol is the best way to go to take off the extra shine. But I didn't have anything. So I just filed it a little bit. Then I put my base coat. And these are the forms that I like to use. I'm not really a fan of using the actual nail ones. I do prefer to use the sticker type. And I think for me... It's because of the shape of the nails that I do. I normally do my nails pointed and I feel like I just have way more control on the paper forms than I do on the actual nail form. Um, I will try, like I said this in the last video, I don't mind trying the nail forms and I know, I know I can be creative and do the shape on the actual nail form itself the same way. But I think I'm just a creature of habit, honestly. And this is just, it was the first thing that I used and it's what I'm most comfortable with. But maybe the next time I'll think about it, next time I do a full set, Maybe I'll give it a go, at least on one of the nails for you guys, and we'll see if I like it or not. Um, but yeah, so these are some of the, the good things about it, was it was super easy to work with and, and, you know, everything I listed prior. But let's talk about some of the cons. So I do not like the way that the nail dries. I don't like that kind of a shiny, see-through sort of, type of look and I know that some people do but for me it's not something I like. I tend to like almost like a pastel pink or a more solid nude. I wouldn't say I mean this is not not a nude and it said it was apricot and it dries actually a bit pink but it, it is beautiful. I just prefer it to have a little bit more color to it than being so thin. Aside from that I'm happy with the poly gel. The other two things that went wrong for me, or I shouldn't say went wrong, but was a little bit of a negative, is one, the base and top coat, those bottles were so hard to open. I literally had to use my teeth and turn it in order to get it to open. And then the other thing is there definitely was some damage down to the base coat lid on the inner part. I think it's cracked a little bit because of the pressure I had, the force I had to use to open it. So those are the only negatives. Aside from that, I'm happy with the kit. Will I recommend it? 100%. The nails cured really well. They feel super sturdy. 
and I'm really, really excited to see how long they wear for. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and giving me the opportunity to entertain you. I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video.